Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's great to see you again after our Arlington trip and then having Garrett Hartle here. Had a fantastic time with him. Well, this week we're gonna show you some new combos. And you know me, I'm always trying to make them really, really bright, beautiful, high contrast animals. Well, we're gonna show you animals that are the opposite of that. They're the most weird and ugly. They're actually the most beautiful animals we've made in a while. They're just wild. So let's go check those out. I think you're gonna really like them. Okay guys, so the first one is a brand new stranger clown combo and it's definitely a different direction than we've gone in the past. This is the Red Stripe Stranger Batman. So Red Stripe Stranger Leopard Spot Nose Clown. And this is actually the same Red Stripe Stranger Het Clown that we used to make the really awesome Mahogany Stranger Clutch that we showed you guys just a couple weeks ago. But this is his second clutch and check out how cool this animal is. So this one actually really surprised me and absolutely just how wild it is. It looks like kind of like a poured espresso, those chocolate kind of moco colors. Of course, whenever I say all these names, it's not the genes that are in it. We've used so many adjectives and cool names on snakes, it's hard to even describe them anymore. But it looks like a chocolate espresso, like or just a, this really rich kind of deep, dark chestnut browns in it. It's really, really amazing. And the pattern is significantly changed. We knew that the stranger Batman was a pretty significantly different pattern, but the red stripe brings in a lot of these kind of colors into it. I say colors because they're all just different shades of deep, dark brown, right? Brown with reds and beautiful, beautiful tones and textures in it. A really awesome belly and see, you still see the little bit of red medallions on the side, still coming through from the Batman, but they're a whole different color, different shade. What an amazing animal this turned out to be. I think this was a girl. The pairing was the Red Stripe Stranger Het Clown to a Fire Batman. So we didn't get fire on this. Fire would have significantly raised the color a lot, made it a lot lighter. Um, that would actually be really cool to see in the future. Mom had a little ringer on her, and look, this has a little ringer on it too, right there on the tail. Now amazingly, this week we actually had two snakes that were very, very, very similar hatched from two com very completely different pairings, although they're both Batmans. The other one's going with the Redhead Project, and it actually had a very similar result. Let's check it out. Okay guys, this is the newest Redhead Clown we've made, and it is a Redhead Batman. It's part of that Red Hood Project. It's been so cool to see as we've been producing them. Now this one, we're not exactly sure what's in it, but it's definitely a Black Pastel Redhead Batman. So Black Pastel Redhead Batman, but it's got two other possible genes in there. One of them is Red Stripe, and the other one is Yellow Belly. So what it actually is, I could definitely, you could definitely make a case for it being Yellow Belly if you just look at all the edging here on the sides. It's a pretty wide, clear belly, but who knows? And maybe the uh, red stripe is bringing in some of the color. We just don't have anything to compare it to, is the challenge. Like the previous one, we had made Stranger Batmans before, so we knew what that looked like, so we knew when the red stripe was changing it. But this one's kind of a whole new game. A really cool little male and 50% head hypo. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But again, look at that ringer there. It's funny how a lot of my clown stuff has been throwing ringers lately. And I actually took a moment this past year to breed some of the ringered clowns back to the piebald project to see if maybe the ringers were some sign of like a het pipe marker. Sometimes you see that on het pipe markers. And the ones I tried, none of them proved to be het pied. So it seems like we have some sort of um, semi genetic ringering going on, but it's not related to any kind of het pipe markers or anything. But still a cool look. I would take a ringer over a non ringer any day just because it kind of adds a neat little element to the animal. Love this snake, love the pattern. You know, the red has been bringing in these really kind of cool hook and ladder kind of patterns on the back, but the black pastel really kind of blows that up and makes it this really cool, almost like jaguar spots all the way down. So this animal actually leads me into the next bit, which is the exact opposite. I think it'd be cool to see what the red head can do if you get to the absolute brightest. And we hatched those two. It's the very first hypo redhead clowns, and they're amazing. So these are the first hypo redhead clowns. I actually only like the second or third hypo clown I've ever made. So it's really cool to make some awesome brand new combos when working on the hypo clown. That's not been my strongest project over the years, but I'm really liking it more and more. They're just so cool because they're like frosted. Let's check them out close. So this one is Redhead Spot Nose Red Stripe Clown. It could be yellow belly. If you look at the belly, it looks very much like a yellow belly 
on that in the spot nose, but spot nose yellow bellies are very deceiving. Sometimes they can really, really look like they have yellow belly and not. But we know for sure this is at least spot nose, redhead, hypo clown. I think it could be red stripe as well. I'm not a thousand percent unsure on that. But we have actually a really cool name for the red stripe redhead project. We're calling it the redneck. We just had to do it. It's kind of cool because they have this little like line there at the neck too. Just a fun little play on words. But this one actually here was a star of the show. This one definitely has yellow belly in it. So check that out. So spot nose, redhead. But see how much lighter the head is on that? That's the fire gene in there as well. And so the, we already know the spot nose, yellow belly fire is super, super bright. Well, the redhead took it to the next level. And then of course, if you had hypo in there, it takes all those really awesome blacks and makes them these deep purples. Looks like it's completely frosted. But two awesome, awesome snakes. This is a boy, this is a girl. Definitely gonna be some amazing holdbacks and definitely something we wanna work on for the hypo clown project in the future. Really, really neat to see these new combos. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a cool update with the Strangers and the Redhead Project. Really excited about both of those for this year. And this is just some early, early clutches, but we really have a lot in store. And now it gives us some new ideas about how to maybe stay away from the yellows a little bit, stay away from those oranges. We, we loved oranges for years and years. We're gonna try something a little different with a few clutches and really lean into those rich browns, kind of like burl wood, they're just amazing. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to bring you more updates on this project in the future. And I'll see you again soon.